When writing a project summary report is going to be very important and also do a presentation. Uh, you need to get like your presentation slide ready. So if you work on five projects, you have to go through this kind of process. So it's more work, but it will be worth it. Okay. Uh, what specific aspects of machine learning are most valuable? Um, I think if you're getting your first data science job, focus on end-to-end. -end. Um, being very specialized in certain machine learning techniques is not necessary. I think it's the end-to-end -end experience, you know, extracting data, scraping data, visualize data, exploratory analysis, right? and then train the models, deploy the models, explain the models. If you can show the end-to-end -end process, I think that will get you the job. And once you are, you know, when you start to start working as a data scientist, of course, you can get more specialized, okay? Um, and, uh, and if you're talking about like specific industries and things like that, then you have to go with your interest. Uh, I, I would usually recommend just working on, work on projects that, uh, that are from like, let's say different industries. Maybe for one of the projects, you will, you can work on marketing analytics. Uh, you need to understand how uh, data science and machine learning works in, in marketing in general, right? Marketing is all about getting the right customers. So there will be customer acquisitions and customer retention, um, customer lifetime value. You need to understand several different use, popular use cases of data science, right? Uh, and then you find the right data set and work on that. So you sort of have a, a concentration on the marketing analytics. Then if you put those experience and use that to apply for a data scientist position in a marketing department, right? You will stand out. 